as designs are created, Chief Architect automatically produces a 3D model. There are two unique types of 3D cameras, perspective and orthographic. The orthographic camera is best for elevations and cross sections, and the perspective camera is best for room and overviews. With the orthographic camera, you can create elevations or cross section views. Using the Wall Elevation Camera, you can click and drag toward a wall and the view will be isolated to a room and not show the roof, floor, or wall platforms. Color and line weight can be toggled on and off. Automatic dimension tools are available to quickly add dimensions, as well as text and callout tools. With the Cross-Section Camera, you will see the model with all the platform information. A back-clipped cross-section camera is a slice of the model. As I click and drag through the stairs, you can see it's restricting the display to the width of the camera. You can adjust the display of cameras to show as callouts in the plan view. For exterior elevations, you can use the automatic camera to quickly create all the exterior views and then activate the camera by double-clicking on it. Any of these views can be detailed and sent at scale to a layout page. Layouts and construction documents are covered in the Plan Sets section of this video. The perspective camera has four types. The first is the full camera. From the floor plan, you can click and drag toward the view you want to generate. The 3D navigation tools allow you to rotate, pan, dolly in and out, focus on an object, and others. While in a 3D view, there are nine different rendering techniques you can toggle to change your views. Standard, Vector, Physically Based, Clay, Watercolor, and others. Settings for these rendering styles allow you to adjust each view for your preferences. For the watercolor view, I'll turn off the glass opacity. Back in the floor plan view, you will see the camera with the field of view indicator and the focal point about which the camera rotates. The next camera is the full overview camera. It generates a complete 3D overview of your model and the same navigation tools are available in all the perspective views. The framing camera is a similar overview camera to generate a framing view. Finally, the perspective floor overview camera generates a top-down view like a dollhouse as it hides the ceilings. The view can be moved up or down floors using the floor navigation. While in 3D, you can continue design work by placing or editing items. 3D views can be exported as an image or a 360 image that you can use on your website, send to clients, or include in a plan set. Your entire 3D model can be exported as a 3D viewer file and shared with your clients. The 3D viewer is a free app that runs on web, Apple, or Google devices. Chief Architect can create both natural and man-made light sources to produce realistic shadows. In this plan, I have a north pointer and two different sun angles with a specific date and time. The program uses this information to accurately display realistic shadows. You can generate the shadow in 2D and also display it in an elevation or perspective view. In 3D, you can also toggle between day and nighttime views. With the physically based render technique, you can generate realistic ray trace scenes that are photorealistic in just a few seconds. The results can be impressive and produce very near photo quality pictures, a great tool to show final designs to clients or to use for your marketing materials. For computers that don't support this higher-end rendering, the program includes a CPU ray trace option that takes a little longer to generate. 
To record a virtual tour, use the Record Walkthrough button or draw a walkthrough path. You can preview the path, set the speed, camera direction, and export as a video file to share with your clients. With Chief Architect's 3D modeling and rendering tools, we can impress ourselves and our clients.